Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time joining me. My name is Yolanda and here on my channel I like to share the different tips and practices that I use in order to improve both my mental and physical health. So we together can start thriving instead of just surviving. Okay, so I'm still a little hot. I just got back from Hot Works. That's where I go and I work out in saunas. If you're not familiar with them, I have several videos and one's probably popping up on one side of the video right now. But um, anyway, so it takes me a little while to cool down, but I wanted to go ahead and record for you guys. So enjoy my fan. It's gonna <laughs> probably be in the video with me a little bit just to help me cool down. But as the title indicates, I wanted to give you a weight loss update. Last month, I made a conscious choice to not come on here weekly and tell you guys my weight because it was messing with me mentally. Let me back up really quickly. I started my weight loss journey January 2nd of 2022, weighing 351 pounds. And I don't weigh that today. <laughs> and um, I kind of quickly went into doing rolling 72s after a little stint which is low carb and i um, made a choice january 1st of this year to start doing rolling 48s and rolling 48s can also be considered alternate day fasting and even with me doing the rolling 48s i'm also doing omad because on the days i eat i basically eat one meal um that makes sense <laughs> but anywho for the month of february i called it focused february because i was having trouble with my body transitioning back to eating more uh for so long i had been um doing rolling 72s probably for like six seven months i did rolling 72s and so my body was like oh food let's keep that my body and my mental had to transition to doing 48s. So here we are. And for the month of February, I did do the rolling 48s. And I also went to the gym on every feed day. So if it was a feed day, I got up that morning, had a protein shake, um, which included coffee as well and collagen, and headed to the gym. Did my, you know, weightlifting and hit sessions in the sauna. Came home and had my one meal. Now on my rest days, I also was opting to some days, not all days, um, walk on my walking pad. But the one thing I did every day was get on my shaky board also known as a vibration plate or vibration platform and again i have a video about the vibration platform and i'll put it here i must say i was pretty consistent i was definitely consistent with my workout um there were a few times where the meal kind of went awry um one day in particular, which was pretty recent, we ended up going as a family because we hadn't been to Bucky's. Do y'all know Bucky's? <laughs> Bucky's is this big old gas station that everyone raves about. And my kids have been begging to go to Bucky's because, you know, everybody talks about it at school. You know the drill. So anyway, they were out on fall break and we had a field trip to Bucky's. And yeah i would say i ate more sugar and carbs than i had the whole month before like combined on that one day so i'm not perfect but sometimes you do just have to give in to the experience and again it was still just that one meal even though it wasn't the best quality food it tastes good now but the quality and the sugar and the massive amount of carbs was a bit of a setback. So let's talk about the numbers. <laughs> okay, I did lose weight. I started off the month weighing 294.8 
and today I weigh 285. So that's a loss of 9.8 pounds for the month of February. Yay! Oh, this is perfect for my yay. <laughs> I think I'm cooled down enough. I probably can get rid of the fan. Um, but I am very excited about that and I'm hoping that my body has now fully adjusted and adapted to the rolling 48s. Um, let me explain why I decided to do rolling 48s instead of 72s. I know a lot of you guys want to do rolling 72s. Obviously, the longer you don't eat, the more weight you have the potential to lose. Um, but for me, what's important or one of the more important things for me was to gain strength. And so I do have a lot of focus on uh, building muscle. And so I needed to increase my protein. And in order to do that, I needed to eat a bit more frequently. So that's why I went from rolling 72s to rolling 48s. Some people exclusively do rolling 72s and they don't even like exercise. Um, that's just not the path that I wanna take for me. Um, and, but it may be the path for you, which is perfectly fine. So I'm stepping into March weighing 285. I kind of want to set a weight loss goal for myself for this month. I'm a little hesitant. I'm a little hesitant to do that because you just never know how the body uh, is going to react. Um, in April, so next month, I am going on a cruise with my youngest son. He's 12. Uh, oh, by the time we go, he'll be 13. Oh, but anyway, so him and I are going on a cruise together and I just kind of want to be as spry and ready as I can just to keep up with his energy. <laughs> so let's just set a goal. Let's set the goal. So 285, today is February 1st and I'm weighing 285. So let's shoot for 15 pounds for the month. We can do that. We can do that, right? 15? Um, so April 1st, the goal is to weigh 270. That, that's a nice number to go on a cruise on. We'll talk about surviving cruises later, right? Because if you've ever been on a cruise, oh my goodness, the amount of food they put before you is ridiculous. But I already have a game plan going into, I keep getting confused. Is this February? No, this is March. Am I messing up them? Am I messing up the dates on here? I think I've already messed them up before. If I said February first, I meant March first. Okay, <laughs> okay. So for the month of March, here's my plan, and, my, and I've already started it as of today. Um, I will be lifting weights at home in my garage gym. Um, that's mainly because. At Hot Works, the gym that I go to, they don't have like, what are they called? Bars? Barbells? You know, long sticks. <laughs> so you could do like bench presses and like deadlifts, things like that. So I'm going to do the weightlifting aspect at home. And I'll show you the program I set up for myself. Um, I've actually done it twice at this point. Um, and I enjoy it. It is a full body workout because I, because since I work out every other day and you should train the muscle groups about three to four times a week, I kind of need to train them every time I work out. Um, but I am getting rest. Don't worry. I'm getting rest in between. And this is just a program I came up with on my own. You know, I like to do my research and Google all the things like the best, um, you know, the best full body strength training moves or the best leg workout, da, 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 da. So all the ones on my program are like top hitters. So I try to balance it to where I would do my arms and then I would do my legs and then I'm my arms, legs, arms, legs, arms. And um, yeah, so that's what I did. And I'm really excited about this program. 
I'm just going to keep doing the exact same exercises for the entire month of March. March. I got it right that time, didn't I? <laughs> and then after working out in my gym at home, I'll go to Hotworks and there I'm having a concentration or a focus on cycling. Um, what you've seen earlier, or I'll show you again now, is um, what they call blast. With blast, you stay seated and you also have arm movements that you use, which I really enjoy. So it's like a hybrid of a cycle slash elliptical to me. Um, so I'm gonna focus on just cycling. And I get really intimidated about getting out of the seat and doing the moves. Um, so here we go. We're gonna do the cycling and we're gonna not be intimidated and by the end of March, I will be a better cyclist. <laughs> so that's the update. I lost 9.8 pounds in February. I'm hoping to lose 15 pounds in March. I wanna do that by being consistent with my um, weightlifting and mastering cycling and doing my rolling 48s. I hope this video encourages you on your own journey. Um, feel free to leave questions down below. If something didn't make sense or you just have a question, I don't mind answering at all. Matter of fact, I enjoy it. But most importantly, and above all, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys, I'll see you next time. Oh, before I go, I'm about to go eat. Let me show you my lunch for today. <laughs>